and it was, it was hard, you know, it was really hard for me to leave my buddies and join this new band of strangers. I hadn't met Nirvana when I first joined the band. I just flew up there, fucking moved in with Kurt in this tiny little apartment. And now I'm surviving on three corn dogs a day. There's a gas <laughs> yeah. station that had three corn dogs for 99 cents. That was like, now I got to budget that. But there was the fucking music. And that was the thing that kept you alive. So how did you know, did Kurt play you some songs and you knew he was going to be great or the band was just starting to make some noise? What was going on that you knew well, to leave Scream? There was a record, um, there was a record before the record, never mind. They, Nirvana had a record called Bleach. And they had, I was their fifth drummer. They had a bunch of drummers. So I knew that record because it was really popular in the underground. And the cool thing about it was like, you know, it was like noisy, like dissonant punk rock, cool songs. But then there was this song called About a Girl in the middle of the record, which is like, I mean, it sounds like something off of an early Beatles record. It's like a Lennon McCartney song. And you're listening to it, you're like, oh fuck, this kid can do that too? Holy wow. shit. And yeah. so uh, we had a mutual friend and they said, Nirvana, we're looking for a drummer. And they had seen me play. And they were like, you know, if we can get a guy like that, like it might be cool. And wow. so I called him, talked to him on the phone and they said, if you want, come up, fly up. And so then I was at this, this crossroads where, what do I do? He was right. I took the chance and I flew up to Seattle and, you know, it happened. Yeah, and, and really, Kurt was a good, I mean, you guys were into the same music. You guys had the same influences. It made sense. But Jesus, from a financial standpoint, those guys that screamed, they were pissed, right? They were just like, you, you fucking. They were bummed up, when I left. They were yeah. bummed, yeah. I mean, and, and more than anything musical, I think just as friends, like we had been through so much fucking shit together, dude. Oh, there's so many good stories. I don't even know. I mean, I just love the idea that when you join Nirvana and things start to pop and all the record companies are interested in you guys and you get like a $400 check and you bought a BB <laughs> Gun and a, I'm such a uh, fucking and idiot, Howard. You have no idea. I mean, I'm really. When I was a kid, I, and you know what? I think a lot of fucking rock musicians do the same thing. Like when you grow up, you know, my mother was a public school teacher. We never had any fucking money. Like I didn't, yeah. I didn't have money for a BB gun or a fucking right. Nintendo or any of that shit. So when I finally got 400 bucks, to me, that was like winning the fucking lottery. 